Hello and welcome to The Matrixers starring Jonathan and Shiva. We are in a haunted castle today. Right and we want to have a look at the castle first, as you can already see in the background, and see if there are any ghosts here. Because we thought, if we're already in England, as you know, England is known for many palaces and castles, which are called castles here. And the owners often say it's haunted. Yes, and where better to hunt ghosts than in England? And we also have special equipment with us, once a ghost camera that captures orbs and tested many times. Works great. The camera is a very inexpensive camera and it has the option of not filtering out infrared influences. The more modern cameras, on the other hand, are all designed in such a way that they have an integrated infrared filter. And that's why it's no longer possible to record any formations or movements in the infrared range. We also have an EM meter here. Yes, right, an EM meter. This can be used to measure electromagnetic fields, magnetic fields and the like. It's actually a ghost detector. You are a ghost. Allegedly. Okay, yes, then we'll show you the castle a little bit. So. Here you can see the site plan of the fort, called Castle Hurst Mwansa, and is located in southern England. Yes, here in the Wealden district of East, near Uckfield. Exactly. And yes, we thought we should take a look at the Hurst Mwansa castle and here, you can already see it. With beautiful gardens and parkland, woods and meadows surround it, as is easy in England and as it should be anywhere. Yes, so it's quite a large facility. Certainly a lot of space in it, is built on the water. Yes, even if you can't see it right now. But we'll go there and test which test right after ghosts. Here you can see that it is built on water and space has been left for the moat. Beautiful. Impress. Yes, very. So I'll go and look for ghosts. Nothing going on, none dead. Oh, something's going wrong here. Oh, yeah. What? Yes, but not. Oh, but there. Something is here. Still too weak. It's still too weak. It must be strong. We can call someone. You can look through there. Oh. Shiva is now taking photos with the spirit camera. The flashlight must always be switched on. And we hope that this will help us find orbs. 
or ghostly apparitions. There are also some that can be photographed. I remember at the Untersberg, Salzburg area, how many orbs we saw there, right? Yes. Thousands in the photo. Yes. The camera is pretty good for that. Doesn't take the best photos because it's a very cheap camera. I think I have goblins and fairies hear this. Is a mystical tree. I believe. I've never seen such a tree. It's a female tree. I still. It's really. He is impressive. Here in the castle garden you can also find thimbles, which have actually become very rare. In fact, incredibly many thimbles, an old witch's herb. Digitalis purpurea is also called this. It is still used today for people with heart failure. But if you take too much of it, there will be hallucinations, which is nothing other than perceiving alternative realities. Now let's go into the castle. There are definitely more ghosts to be found there. Oh. The ghosts don't want visitors today. Yes, we tried to get into the castle or to get into the castle, but unfortunately it didn't work. But we measured the environment with the ghost detector. Unfortunately, we weren't able to achieve any results either. We took a few more photos of the area and we'll look at them later to see if there's anything that doesn't belong there. And if so, then of course we'll show you the photos. In any case, we will also visit one of the old English cemeteries. And we will definitely find something there. Exactly. The cemeteries in England are always very mystical and sometimes very overgrown. And I still remember it from my youth. I often visited English cemeteries and they always looked really spooky somehow. Besides, you know them too. Yes, we thought, if we're going to make a video about ghosts and introduce you to ghost places, then of course we should tell something about ghosts somehow, right? That's a good idea, isn't it? Yes. So first of all basic knowledge. What is a ghost anyway? What is a ghost a deceased who is somehow still attached to the physical plane, can't get away and somehow didn't quite realize that he had died because he missed the time of death and didn't realize it, for example, this is often the case with accidents. They like to haunt the places where they last lived or spent their time. Yes, which they just liked very much. As Shakespeare liked these gardens here. Who knows, maybe he's still haunted and wondering what just happened. Exactly. And we can also talk a little bit about the ghosts and the intermediate level and where the ghosts go after that, maybe, who are then intercepted, taken in, and informed, at some point, that they are somehow dead after all. <laughs> yes, they will be picked up by the Matrix guards. So after death you go to the intermediate level in your astral body and of course, 
you can walk around everywhere in the astral body. Most, of course, think they are still alive because the astral body is already very similar to the physical body. And yes, then they run around in the astral body and wonder why nobody can perceive them or wonder that they can no longer touch some things or can no longer get in touch with anyone. And at some point they start to wonder. And yes, if you know something about spirituality, you would of course understand at some point. Damn it, I think I'm dead. And for skeptics and rationalists, it can sometimes take months or many years before they understand that they are dead. And then they wander around for a long time because they still believe they are alive. To give an example of how close the physical plane is to the astral or in-between plane. I once had an experience where I was able to physically touch and hold an astral being. I woke up in the night. And someone wanted to cuddle with me and I felt him lying on me and I could physically touch him. That was very very strange. That was strange though. That's very close to get everything. Yes. That can happen sometimes. Or sometimes it is also the case that someone comes by in the astral body and you are in the astral body yourself, but think you are still physical. Maybe that was it too, because I know I was out astrally that day. Just it. So that really. But then I woke up and I could still feel it. Yes, yes. Yes. I also had occasional visits from astral ladies who then wanted to cuddle with me. And yes, they feel very lifelike. So in certain states, even if you are astral yourself anyway, then you can feel them. Right. Just like you can touch a normal person. So you see, the levels are not always clearly separable from each other. The dimensions. One should also think in frequencies rather than in dimensions. And yes, that is of course the reason why the deceased often still haunt the places where they just lived. And that's when we thought in the castle, maybe we could find someone here who's still haunting it. But unfortunately we won't get inside today. But that's not too bad. Because there are so many places in England that are haunted, cursed, haunted and all. And we wanted to look at a few places there. And when we visit the squares, you will of course be there. Yes. What else can we tell about astral beings, spirits? Poltergeists are not fake appearances. It really does exist. Yes. Poltergeists are of course the deceased who, for whatever reason, think they are alive and mostly didn't understand that they died. And of course they still try to somehow influence the physical world. And some actually get it. They then move chairs or open cupboards or turn on the coffee machine or the dishwasher. Or turn on the tap or something similar and in that case you are actually dealing with a poltergeist phenomenon. Exactly. Or an example. Originally, before we left, we wanted to stop by a friend who didn't own a haunted house, but has a friend who lives in an apartment where very, very inexplicable phenomena have occurred. He is also very sensitive and has experienced a lot. Among other things, there was probably a portal open to other dimensions and he could see them physically sitting there. And then they also played the guitar, so that the police had to be called. You have to think about it. A ghost plays the guitar loudly and then the police arrive. Yes, because of disturbance of the peace. That means that all the neighbors could actually hear the guitar and then thought oh man, who is playing the guitar so loud? And then called the police because of the disturbance. And yes, the guitar player could of course never be found. Or, then he went out there and saw 
an old man sitting in his chair and watching TV. Then he unplugged the TV, but the TV kept going. Well, there are a lot of phenomena that can already be declared as poltergeist phenomena. We really would have liked to see it. But unfortunately the friend we visited closed the portal to the other dimensions, so phenomena did not occur there anymore. Yes, unfortunately closed. Unfortunately for us perhaps but not for the person concerned who lived there. Of course, he was happy, because the whole thing had already stressed him out a lot. And if, of course, a medium comes by who can perceive something like this, they can close the portal so that the tenant concerned can have peace and quiet. Yes, then where are ghosts to be found primarily? Tell me hum, yes. So primarily ghosts are found in cemeteries. As cliche as that sounds offers itself somehow when you're lying around dead or in hospitals because many died in the hospital they didn't notice they still walk around the hallways or watch tv or go to the smoking room and of course where there are old buildings like the fort here or other forts and other castles that exist One can assume that many ghosts are still hanging around there. Or in places where wars have taken place. Which was also the case in Bergen, but also in other theaters of war. Where violent deaths have taken place. Where you don't even notice the transition. Exactly. Even. The sooner death occurs, the less you notice it. So many warriors or many soldiers who died in battle continued to fight even though the body had long since fallen to the ground. That's what you said last time, that you had a dream about it. Where that was. They just drop dead and don't even notice it. So to speak, the body falls out of the astral body and the astral body stands still. When they get hit by an arrow and a bullet or something and they keep running. Then they storm on. It's enough for this location. And see you on the next one. Yes, we look forward to you joining us for the next visits. So, and in the next video we have something very special for you. You can join us for about an hour as we hunt ghosts and orbs. We have discovered a lot, we will show it to you. But we'll see who watches the video to the end, who makes it. You won't see much, but one or the other. Let yourself be surprised, yes, it will be pretty dark. And yet you will see something. We've met ghosts, met orbs. Let yourself be surprised, join us. Eventually you will see when it comes. We wish you a lot of fun.